Toma slams Chi Chi through a table! Will he live to tell the tale? Fine day in the year of the Zenith Tomb, like Dave Anomaly, the Anomalicarus, if you know me as the man who's stepping closer and closer, and I think tomorrow you guys will know the gimmick for season 12. But for right now, it's just still preseason, and some of your tag team ideas here in the Dongon Rampa Hunger Games, and as you know, tag team action's returning. Everything is about to come on back for the dozenth season this time around in the Ah, yes. Hunger Games. And so, I have some of your ideas from the Discord in the Hunger Games submissions, or brainstorming rather, and some from the link below. If you don't use Discord or are in the Discord, you can submit your tag team ideas there. I've pulled some from both locations. And there's plenty more where this came from, but some of them are, are real good, and I'm, I'm just gonna save them for the premiere. <laughs> Not for the premiere, for the for the Meet the Teams episode. There's some, some real, real good ones, but there's some real, real good ones in this one, too. Without further ado, here's some of your tag team ideas for this season. We're talking about the house husbands, Pennyworth, Toma, and Kai. Doctor's Orders, Mikon, Takemi from Persona 5, and Sojiro from Lost Dimension. Take the throne, Sonya, Makoto, and Queen from Delta Rune, all of those royals right there. Dinner party, Teru Teru, Chi Chi, and Kanji. And at first glance, this doesn't really make so much sense. But Teru Teru's bringing the food, Chi Chi's bringing the tables, and Kanji's getting the chairs. Dinner party. It's one of my favorites here today. Justice for all, did somebody say justice? Justice Hammer won. Never been a real competitor, or a consistent competitor, but uh, if this team goes on this season, it could happen with George, and did somebody say Justice Arthur, anti-lovers quarrel, usually have a lovers quarrel, this time it's an anti-lovers quarrel because the fighting has brought them all together, Tinko, Ophelia, and Haru, cat a -clism. Very clever. The grand boy, Sherry Ludenberg. Uh, Mona, our AV Mania champion, and Diona, suck it up, or suck it up, or suck it up. <laughs> or the suks, or the sukes, we have Yasuke, Yosuke, and Yusuke all together in a team whose names I will mix up throughout the entire season if they end up on a team. We have... Nope. Flames of Rebellion, Nagito, Reiko, and On, Growth Spurt, Crazy Oko Extra Large, and Mizuki XL. That's big Mizuki. That's big sis. That's big, big sis Mizuki. They see me rolling. Maya, Monica, and Kizzy. Poor Fortune Hero, Mona, and Chihaya. All the fortune tellers there today. Axolotl, we see Gundam. Probably has the Axolotl, and then the axes are given by Vike and Clover. Clean sweep, my janitor, oh my janitor, in the Dongarapa Hunger Games Seiko, along with Leon, of course, a, a janitor in his own right, and Flora here to clean up as a maid. And then behave! Please, you two, please behave. Please, Mew, Tama, behave. Behave, why don't you? These are some of your, uh, your tag team ideas. And I've loved them. I love all of these, <laughs> to be completely honest. Um, there's a lot more tag team ideas. A lot of them borrow characters from these teams. So let me know which of these teams that you see so far are your favorite. And don't forget, there's still plenty of plenty of time. There's a couple more weeks to enter tag team ideas. I haven't finalized any time any teams at all. I can't even do that until the Asian of Chaos episode or the premiere. Right after the premiere is where I'm like, okay, anyone who's not champion or Asian of Chaos, y'all can get split up. 
They all get split up and who knows what's gonna happen. But we got a whole bunch of teams here today and it's gonna be a fun one. Let me know which of these is your favorite and pick first, second, third in the comments because your comments are important like this one, like that one, and gosh darn it, hot diggity dog like that one. Oh yes, it's true. I'm gonna make my picks though, and I think I've already said my favorite. Mm. I do have a weak spot for Norphelia, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Um, I love Dinner Party. I think Dinner Party was like suggested during AV Mania, and then someone actually went through and put it in the um in the uh, the tag team suggestion box. But let me tell you, I, I do love Dinner Party. I think it's just, I think it's smart. I think it's very clever. Um, I like both of the characters in Growth Spurt a lot, but I honestly really enjoy Poor Fortune. I really do. I think Dinner Party's still my favorite. Poor Fortune, I'm feeling them for some reason. And give me Chihaya for first. Give me Justice Hammer 1 for second, because, you know, Justice. And lastly, I'll take anybody but these three. Ladies and gentlemen, those are my picks. And without further ado, I do believe it's time to get the show on the road, and you know just how we do it. We scroll up a little bit, I take a deep, a big old deep breath. <sighs> That's a pretty big breath, I tell you what. And then I play that music and I say, hey... I think it's time we get Asnir in here. Hopefully. Asnir, what do you got this time? <gasps> Is this... It's one of them fancy cameras! Oh, oh, Asnir. You wanna take a picture together? You and me, my guy? All right, don't mind if I do. Hey, Asnir, look over, right here. Huh? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, good, good, good. That's great, that's good right there. Oh gosh, it's bright! Uh, oh! Did it come out well? What the? Oh, it's printing right now? And what kind of- Oh! Wait that! Oh, oh, that's not a flattering picture. It sure ain't. I'll, I'll hold it up to your eyes in a second. Oh my goodness, isn't that something? That is something. Oh man, I was not ready for that flash. That's funny. All right, well, and just like that. Check out that beautiful picture. Was not ready for the flash. All right, but I gotta say I do love it, so I'm gonna put this up right here. <laughs> Memories. Let's roll this thing. How many times are we simulating? One good toss. It is a whole set. After that lovely picture, as near um, we gotta take a more photogenic one and one other one of these days. All right, but for right now, that's a full set of five. And we've wasted enough time, we're re-simulating not one time, not two times, not three times, not even four times before the spiciest of all RNG and for all of these potential teams this coming season, we re-simulate. Five times. Five times. You ready? Oh, I sure hope you're ready because it's time to get this show on the road. Let's do it. Let's proceed. Let's proceed. Let's proceed. And so Jiro's not having a good time. But I'll tell you who is having a good time. The Horn Bears. Can you please do what you do best in sound? The Horns. Oh, thank you, Horn Bears, for doing your part. You play fantastically every single time. But less than fantastic in this game is Sojiro because Kai shoots a poisonous dart into his neck, slowly killing him. Ophelia cozies up next to Arthur, and Hiro looking for allies. Nagito rips a mace out of Teru Teru's hands. We're letting him have explosives, we're letting him have maces. Oh boy, oh my goodness. Skaramush approaches Toma. Chihaya. And Bobbin 
tells them that he'll be killing them all this game. Classic. On. Runs away from the cornucopia. Kizzy cries in despair, accomplishing nothing. Queen takes a spear from inside of the cornucopia. Saika runs away from the cornucopia. Tinko grabs a shovel. Mikan receives a trident from inside of the cornucopia. Monica snatches a bottle of alcohol. And a rag! Mona and Vika immediately become friends. I wouldn't think them to be the fast friends type, but you know what? I, I am surprised. I was gonna say, who's surprised? Me. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. Queen ignores the game and goes looking for food. Clover. Decides to head back to the cornucopia to look for supplies that could have been left during the bloodbath, but when she finds the middle of the arena, the cornucopia is just not there. Yasuke runs away from the cornucopia. Chi Chi was spacing, <laughs> was spacing out during the dice roll. Yeah, that's about right. Wonders if it landed on a one. Leon takes a loaded shotgun from the supplies and fires it at Mew. Mew can see all the pellets approaching in slow motion and dodges them all. The comment section bet all their mana coins on Maya, so Maya better win. Yosuke. Brought a tray of freshly baked cookies. Yusuke didn't get any, though. He's your partner. Maybe. Maybe everyone else just took the cookies before Yusuke could get them. Mona runs away from the cornucopia. Tama takes a running start, and Superman punches Kanji, sending him flying across the arena. Punch Club forever. New Fire Emblem next year. Early next year, too. And the Punch Club's coming back. You better believe it. Gundam runs away from the cornucopia. Um, Diona. Uh, George and Sonya insist on each other and getting the best of weapons. Mizuki XL finds a model cornucopia in the cornucopia. The Grand Boy! Takemi, Seiko, Crazy Oko, Extra Large, and Flora have a party to boost morale. During it, Seiko turns off the lights and kills the Grand Boy! How could you? Mm. Justice Hammer 1 runs away from the cornucopia. Noir sets Pennyworth on fire with a Molotov. How could ya? And Reiko grabs a backpack and retreats. We'll keep proceeding. We'll keep on keeping on with day one. As Hero tries stealing my pancakes, you're a monster, you're a villain. But Kizzy caught him, killed him, and to thank Kizzy, who has only been in two games ever, but has already found herself in two championship matches. <laughs> Kizzy's here to impress you guys, you know what? I'm all for it. You get in there, Kizzy. As soon as I find a pin, I'm gonna have to break out a new pin. Right here. And say the Kizzy, we'll even get you a little orange. We'll get a little orange pin in here. Kizzy go on to the World Pancake Champ. That is really, really bright orange. Oh my gosh, I'm blind. However, we must keep going. As Tama goes hunting, Mona gets his hand or his paw caught in a can of Pringles. Kanji catches the despair disease and starts posing dramatically. Uh, Saika signs a petition to play, uh, change American Eat Ball to football. She would. Ophelia asks Sonya if she likes boats. Sonya says no. Arthur reaches his hand towards the screen. The watchers and safe run. Scarmouche hands Leon and Chihaya an invitation to his birthday party. They will tear up the invitation before his very eyes. That's right, y'all better not go. Noir. Wonders if Nagito has Nagito insurance. You can ask him. This game, Justice Hammer 1 catches the Despair's Disease and starts posing dramatically. How does a, a hammer pose dramatically? Mikan plants some trees. Territorio starts hanging up missiles on the arena, but Mew swoops in. Snaps his arm. Burns that mistletoe. Yasuke comically uh, trips on a comically placed banana peel and falls on his bottom. Kai receives a gift from a secret admirer. It's a giant stuffed bear. Seiko was exposed to Mona's sensitivity aura. Causing her to become more emotional, Vike and Nagito look for more people to become friends with. Listen here. Takemi does not like Diona. She is going to bark at her. Bark, bark. Woof, woof. Bark. Bark, bark, bark. Monica tells a frustrated queen to chill out. Clover wakes from a long nap. Crazy Oak, Oxal Large, and Reiko split up to search for resources. Ah, uh, resources. Yosuke gets drenched in honey. Queen breaks the fourth wall and compliments you in particular. Yes, you. Whatever you're, you, you're doing, you know what you, you do? It's, it's working. It's working. Keep at it. Good on you. Looking great today. Mizuki Extra Large doesn't want to live on this planet anymore. On doesn't believe in palindromes. Tinko receives a first aid kit from the comments section. Toma slams Chi Chi through a table. Will he live to tell the tale? Flora Bob my Florma. Glorious air combo on George. Yusuke slurps his fresh applesauce nice. And Gundam's unknown sponsor is Rage Shadow Legends. We lost only four. Only four from the Bloodbath in day one, which is kind of shopping, uh, shocking. It's not like a small, small game. 
But it's a, it's like a it's like a mid-sized game as we had a Clarity Loon 4. Sojiro. The grand boy Sheree Ludenberg. Pennyworth. Hero. I have a lot of apple cider. There was much more of it earlier today, but you know, I I don't have a problem, y'all have a problem. Let's see everybody's statuses. Only four teams have lost a, uh, lost a person, the house husbands, the doctor's orders, cataclysm, and, and, poor fortune. Which is a very poor fortune for them because I picked, I picked them. I, I sure did. I said I vibe with them, which means, um, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> My bad to them, but we gotta proceed. We still got so many people left to go, so many people left to lose. And so many people to go on to that premiere. Two people, top two, who are not already in that premiere will go on as Mona cuddles up next to Takemi. I've never been more jealous in my entire life. Kai. His reflection in the mirror distorts to show him his true self as he pleads with what he sees. Scaramouche cuddles up next to a literal hammer. Mikan becomes Yosuke's emergency food. Well, rest in peace. George ships Yasuke and Leon. Leon and Yasuke are incredibly uncomfortable. Vike uses some fireworks that he found to distract Queen and Kanji and kills them. You didn't have to kill my guy, but uh, thanks for killing the TV head. Uh, the, the, the ruler of the TV heads. You know, I'm a big fan of that. Good job. Proud of you. Clover challenges Chihaya to a dance-off. Chihaya absolutely dominates. I thought Clover might win that one, but apparently Chihaya's got, Chihaya's got the moves. The schmoves, in fact. Bob. He finds this huge red button. Probably wondering if it'll cause mayhem on Hopina. Fortunately, it doesn't do a thing as he smashes it. Teru Teru puts on a suave top hat. How oh, fancy. Tinko, Saika, Maya, Ophelia tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Mona sings a romantic song to Queen. How sweet. Uh, Naito kills, uh, kills Flora with her own weapon. Mona, I'm sorry, not Mona, Monica. Chi Chi. Yusuke and Tama play a friendly game of Uno to the death. Chi-Chi puts them all through the table that they were playing on top of and wins, killing them all. Toma finds a secret stash of pancakes that I hypothetically hinted at. Crazy Oak Extra Large sticks her hand in the campfire that she made. Mew pushes Gundam off the cliff during a knife fight. How could you, Mew? Kizzy and Arthur have a pose off. Kizzy wins. Something probably happened to Arthur during that pose off. Noir dyes her hair blue. What shade of blue, though? Is it like Mizuki blue? As Mizuki etches a sketch in a tree, Reiko takes it as a threat. An finally finishes her novel. Sonya walks barefoot across a carpet of Legos. Unfortunately, she succumbs to the pain and dies. I can't blame her. I cannot. Uh, Diana submits an application to join the squad. Seiko walks up to her and says, Yeah, you're not getting in, cat. <laughs> uh, we'll proceed. We're going to day two. As Reiko and Blob, hmm, uh, hmm, hmm, Blob. Reiko, you gotta can't team up with that man. Split up to search for resources. Leon takes I'm sorry, wakes from a long nap. Mike hunts for other tributes. Mizuki extra large wants Avi to give Saika a chance. Mizuki XL <clears throat> big big sis Mizuki. I get out of here. I'll get out of here. No thanks for that. I'm a big on new and new things. Chihaya. Wants to be a stepping stone for everyone else, Tinko starts to call Arthur, Saika, Mona, and Kai happily join Justice Hammer 1 attempts to climb a tree, but balls on Noir, killing them both. <laughs> Ow. Justice Hammer 1 just fell, and Noir gets in the head with a hammer. Big sad, but there it is. Crazy of Martial Large diverts Seiko's attention and runs away. Queen receives a hatch from the known sponsor. Kizzy's still alive. Takemi uses Christmas magic to change the month to December. Deona. George. Maya and Mew swim in mystical lake, hidden, mystical, uh, mystical lake hidden deep beneath the arena whose mystical waters turn them into chibi forms of themselves. Magic doesn't always have to be useful, but it sure is cute. Scaramouche fishes. Disgusting. Mona. Ophelia crawl, uh, catches Ophelia crawled up in a ball because she just saw Noir get hit in the head with a hammer. From the sky. From the heavens. <laughs> Rocking back and forth, sucking on her thumb, seems like she's lost it. Nakita thinks that Avi has an addiction to getting new addictions. I mean, no, but like... Addictions are not fun, actually. <laughs> They're not fun, actually. I don't condone that. Toma, Yasuke, Clover, Teru Teru, all chibi forms of themselves. Very cute. Chi-Chi, 
hangs up mistletoe in the arena. I mean, I'll allow it. If I don't, she's gonna put me through a table. And An's phone rings. There's no caller ID when she picks it up. It's Yosuke, insulting her on the other line. Goodness gracious, we lost more than four this time around. Three times that, in fact, as we hit a Clair de Lune four. Mikon, Queen, Kanji, Flora, Monica, Yusuke, Tama, Gundo, Sonya, Mizuki XL, Justice Hammer 1, Noir. Let's take a peek. And also see how many people are left. Oh, a nice even 30, actually. An even 30 people. Toma and Kai for the house husbands. Doctor's orders to Kami. Take the throne. Still has Makoto. Dinner party with Chi-Chi and Teru Teru. Justice for all has George and Justice. Arthur. <laughs> Anti-lovers quarrel still has Tinko and Ophelia. Cataclysm has Ma Mona. I keep... I, I don't know why I hesitate on calling you Mona. Because I see Morgana and I'm just like, that's Mona to me. Uh, and Diona. Uh, Suk it up. Or suke it up. I'm not sure yet. The suks. Uh, Yasuke and Yosuke still remain. Nope. Uh, Flames of Rebellion completely in. Gross spurt styles. Crazy Ultra large. They see me rolling. Maya and Kizzy. Uh, Poor Fortune still has Mona Chihaya. Axolotl, Vike, Clover. Leon and Seiko for clean sweep. And Mew. Behave. Please. Top two people? You know where they're going to fight for that title. But they got... 28 other people to get through. Potentially. Potentially. You know what? Let's just go. You mean? Let's proceed. I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? Let's do it. 30 competitors left. And... Nobody perishes at the start of night two. Lean and Chihai start kicking Saika for unknown reasons. Oh, there's a reason. There's a reason. Tis the season for kicking Sayaka. Mona uh, finishes her nighttime coffee before turning in. Mona, <laughs> as unknown sponsors, AV Joyce and some bias here. You're dang right I do. That's my AV Mania champion, baby. Skarmouche finds a care package, unable to open it. George says a swear word. Teru Teru covers Maya's ears. Yasuke challenges me in Battleship. Your Battleship is gone. Out of here. I'll be frank, I saw it. I was at the store this week and I saw Battleship and I do. <laughs> I was this close to being like, maybe I'll just get it. Uh, Kizzy fires a truth bullet at Diona, exposes her lies. Toma grabs Kokichi by the throat. Takemi fiercely shakes up a can of soda, pops the tab, and is now covered in the sticky soda. Clover starts a fire. Nagito and Mew tell each other their greatest fears in order to grow each other's trust. Vike finds a big red button, presses it immediately as if he had a death wish. Uh, death wish. Much as a what? disappointment, actually, the button doesn't do a thing. He was like, I wanted to do at least something. Arthur loves V3 survivors equally. Maki, Himiko, and Saki. Reiko's in the ash of a trillion dead souls. Ask the ghost of honor matters. The silence was their answer. Seiko reminisces about the year of the horizon. Is that the year when they claim the tag team titles? I think so. Uh, Bob holds a secret meeting with Yosuke, Queen, Tinko, and Crazy Ghost Large. Maki grabs Chi Chi by the throat. The ghostly howls of wolves wake up Ophelia, and thinking quickly, Kai constructs a homemade gun using only some string, a squirrel, and a gun. I don't know where he got that, but day three does say that Ophelia takes a sip of tea. The scolding hot liquid proves too much for her, spits it in a Crazy Ghost Large's face. Uh, you better be careful, she'll kick you in the face for that. Kizzy isn't supposed to, uh, isn't surprised the muse made it this far. That's. Undisputed Mew, I'm not surprised either. Mona drives up to Maki Donald's, wants an ice cream. Unfortunately, the ice cream machine is broken. She was like, ah, it wasn't in the stars. Uh, Vike throws a discarded Dumbo into Queen's head, rest in peace. George uses his signature move to kill Diona. No. No. How could you? Seiko receives an explosion from another sponsor. Bob beats Kai with a steel chair. I'll remember that. Yosuke throws sand in the eyes of Chihaya, then runs off. Toma finds a water gun, fills it up with holy water, fires it at Mona, just getting Mona wet. You got the cat wet, how could you? Arthur plays chess with death and wins! That's surprising luck for my guy! <laughs> Terra Terra feels like there's a duck watching him. Reiko's trying to overthrow AV, fails miserably, but survives thanks to Tenko. Saika steps on a Lego brick while barefoot and shrugs off the pain. She's too powerful, y'all need to get rid of her on. Maya. Clover, Scaramouche, and Chi-Chi look for other people to kill. Leon begs for Yasuke to kill him. He obliges? Yasuke! Why? <laughs> Why Leon? 
Nagito is stronger than he appears, and Taka, uh, Takemi starts writing a novel. Will she ever finish it? I'm not certain, but we only lost another three. That brings us just down to 27. It's a slow roll of a game. And a clear day loom. Four. Queen. Diona. Leon. Which means, I think Take the Throne is now completely out. Catastrophe only has the AV Mania champion, Morgana. And Clean Sweep is now just down to Seiko. Everyone else is where they were last round. Which means we can just keep on keeping on. We can just proceed. We got 20, that's still larger than a standard size game. So let's go ahead and let's take a step forward and we'll see what happens on night three. Yosuke and Bob huddle for warmth. Y'all are getting real buddy-buddy with Bob in this arena and I'm not for it. Not one bit. Mew tries to treat her infection. On pushes Chi-Chi off of a cliff during a knife fight. If only it were a table fight, she would've been okay. Chi-Chi, no! Kizzy was too cute for this world and ascended to a different plane of existence. Fair. Tinko is bleeding out, but thankfully she receives fresh blood from an unknown sponsor. One of y'all is real, real keen in supporting Tinko out here. I'll, 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 all the blood for Tinko, apparently. Yasuke screams in the void. Crazy Oko, extra large, hops into an inflatable cauldron to make jokes about how she's emergency food. She might have a problem. She might. Clover's bleeding out, but also receives blood from a fresh, uh, fresh blood from an unknown sponsor. Whom's to, whom's to, uh, supporting both of them? Whom's to, who did it? Takemi. And Mona discussed that that big stone is a boulder or a rock. Kai, Saika, and Maya ambush Chihaya, but Chihaya is able to fend them all off using only a broomstick. Ophelia. You burn down Avi's wares in despairs? It was an accident. She can slide. I love Ophelia. Scaramouche adopts Seiko as his child. Seiko, you, you gotta run, man. You gotta run, Seiko. Toma thinks about winning. Vite gets a hold of my soundboard and plays Dire Dire Docks. Reiko kisses her homies, Nagito, Mona, and Teru Teru, good night. George buys a D to a house, now we can have parties every week, and Arthur's ultimate move is fully charged, knowing Arthur. It's a fit of bad luck and he also perishes. We'll see next round what it has in store, I'm not sure. But we see Ophelia invading Crazy Oko Extra Large's privacy and listens to her sing in the shower, Yasuke does Yasuke things, Mona. Hopes A.V. doesn't jinx her well. It's too late for that. Vike <laughs> and Nagito have a picnic on a cliff. Surprisingly, nothing goes wrong. Where in the world is Kai? Dead. He's, he's dead. Reiko's trying to overthrow me again. Reiko, do we need to talk? Like, I, I, I love Reiko. But, like, you know, I think we might need to talk. Seiko saves her. On drives up to Maki Donald's, wants an ice cream. Of course it's gonna work for On. She's got that sweet tooth, and now she's got her ice cream fix. Mew holds Bob's head underwater, but Bob grabs her arm and pulls her into the lake with him. Both tributes are unable to kill one another, so they simply swim away. Takemi steps on a Lego brick while Barefoot shrugs off the pain. Clover violently shakes a tree to knock loose some fruit. Arthur beats George with a ladder. That's his ultimate move. Scaramouche wonders if Nagito has Nagito insurance. Maya's phone rings. There's no caller ID. Yosuke's insulting. And he's just getting everyone's number and saying... <laughs> he's just insulting everyone left and right. My gosh. Toma receives a gift from a secret admirer. It's a giant stuffed bear. Chihaya sets Teru Teru on fire with a Molotov. Tinko finds a water gun fills with a holy water fires at Asaika getting her wet while I'll be frank. That should have gotten rid of her. Mona spends the entire day walking around in shoes made of Legos. He has transcended beyond humanity. As we proceed, we are down another four. I believe we're still at 23 after this. Claire de Lune 4. Chi Chi, Kizzy, Kai, Teru, Teru. See everybody's statuses. It's a slow roll, but, you know, 20, 23 people, one big arena event, one feast could drop that uh, tremendously, but that's a future us thing. Uh, that's absolutely not what I wanted to do. Uh, here. Yes, definitely 23 left. Toma's the last person now remaining for the house husbands. Doctor's order now, uh, it still only has to, uh, to Kami, you're completely out, dinner party's completely out too. Justice for All Stars, George and Arthur, Anti-Lovers Quirrell still has, uh, Tinko and Ophelia, Cataclysm just with Mona, Suke it up, or Suke it up, Yasuke, Yosuke, 
Nope. Flames of Rebellion completely in. Gross Spurt style is crazy ultra large. They see me rolling. Maya, Poor Fortune, Chihaya, and Mona. Axolotl, Vike, and Clover. Behave! Mew. And Seiko's trying to pull this clean sweep as we proceed. Cause it ain't over yet. We got a ways, a ways to go. And that ways continues with Night 4. Yosuke thinks he's the protagonist. In actuality, Tenko's the protagonist. And Yosuke is the quirky comic relief character. Well... Yeah, that sounds about right. Takemi finds an extra sketch and shows Ophelia the portrait she made for her. Ophelia loves it and kisses Takemi on the forehead. Clover. Decided it was a good idea to nosedive a polar bear preparing for hibernation. The horror. Sayaka, Reiko, and Vike find the Triforce. Each take a piece for themselves. Sayaka has the Triforce of Courage. Reiko, the Triforce of Wisdom. And Vike, the Triforce of Power. Yasuke steals Arthur's first kiss. George. Plagued by a reoccurring nightmare, Mona and Naito exercise underneath the stars every day. Seiko imagines a future where she could be with Bob. Didn't Bob also adopt Seiko this game? <laughs> maybe, maybe Bob is a terror on my island, but is a great father. Probably not. Mona and Mew take some pictures of the Aurora Borealis before going to sleep for the night. Scaramouche finds an etch sketch somehow. While Scaramouche is distracted, On sneaks up from behind him and kills him! On! Yes! 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 <laughs> in the dead of night, she high, ducks and dodges my laser defense system, managed to escape the arena James Bond style. Impressive, but she's still disqualified. Toma wants to speak with the manager of AB's Wears and Despairs, and Maya swaps out my pancakes for a while. Maya, uh, we'll talk after the game, but for current, current, currently during the game, you're, you're not in it. You're out. Out. Get out of here. Get, 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 get out of here. Get, no, no thanks. And Crazy Ultra Large dies from hunger. Things, um... Started to take a, wor a turn for the worse at the end of this day. Is that gonna continue? I don't know, but name a more iconic trio than Mona, Seiko, and Yosuke. Okay, I'll wait. You can't? I didn't think so. Vikram is about season one. I didn't even know you existed in season one. Ophelia <laughs> trips on a comic replaced banana peel and falls off of a cliff. Rest in peace to Ophelia. Nagito plants flowers around his campsite. Takemi accidentally blurts out the fact that she likes On in a non-platonic way. On accepts the accidental confession wholeheartedly. Arthur gives Tenko his blessings to marry Toma. Tenko and Toma have no idea what the heck he's on about. Probably justice. Rico taints. You know what? Yeah, well, glorious. Four, three, us. Glorious. You know what, Reiko? You can you can try and take over this game as many times as you like. As long as you get psych out, you will absolutely be positively a hundred percent glorious. Oh yeah. We'll proceed though. We probably could have kept that playing, but you know, Yasuke works at Avi's Wares and Dis I'm sorry, Yoko's Items and Misfortunes. Two very different stores. One clearly superior to the other one, which happens to be hiring. Mew is horrified when Bob goes to a job interview for it, causing her to kill. This has just been the greatest- You know what? You know what? For that one, Mew- Yeah, you get one too! You get a gl- You- You get a glorious! You get a glorious! Check under your seats! It's a glorious! Wait, what's- 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 what's this? Oh, oh, under my keyboard? It's a- Oh, yeah! Glorious! Ha 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 ha! All three of them are. You love to see that, you know? In the course of a round, man. Man, keep it playing. Mona kills George with a hatchet. That's sad, but you know what's glorious? These not not all nine of these cannon shots, but three of these cannon shots. Oh, they are absolutely, positively, 100% glorious, baby. Uh, okay, we'll play the Clarity Loon 4. Clover. Scaramouche! Chihaya. Maya, Crazy Yoko, Extra Large, Ophelia, Freakin' Sayaka, Bob, George. It's a good round. Let's we'll see everybody's status. <laughs> we still got Toma, Takemi, um. Do we have 14 people left? Did we lose 9? Yeah, we did. Um. Toma, Takemi, 
Uh, Justice for All still has Arthur. Anti Lovers Quarrel still has Tenko. Mona Storm is for Cataclysm. Suke It Up still has Yasuke and Yosuke. Flames of Rebellion is going so strong. Oh my gosh. Poor Fortune still has my pick Mona. Axolotl still has Vike. Clean Sweep has. Did I pick? I think I actually picked Chihaya. Oh. Seiko still here for clean sweep, and Behave still has Mew. Ladies and gentlemen, four more until your saving grace picks. Will Mona survive? Because I'm probably gonna pick you, Mona. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, Mona. Let's proceed and see what happens. Will a poor fortune away Mona? Or not? Let's see, let's proceed, and we will go on to see Mona's unable to start a fire sweeps without warmth. Yasuke teaches Viking Yosuke how to use ice magic. Reiko and Takemi hold hands. On develops an irrational fear of Seiko after having a nightmare about her. Now Seiko can be pretty scary. Arthur finds a dark deva in the arena and befriends it. Nagito, Toma, Mona, and Mew attend a hard cider drinking contest. Nagito wins as the others slowly die from alcohol poisoning. Flames of Rebellion is going tough. Tinko finds a special charm that allows her to transform into a magical girl. Now it's time to fight some evildoers. No, now it's time for the feast. That's what I figured. The cornucopia is replenished with food, weapons, memoirs from the tribute families. Nagito challenges on and Vike to an anything goes pancake eating competition. On was so excited for these pancakes, but Nagito murdered his own partner, which means he's gonna win this game. And Vike. Challenging, I'm sorry, as soon as the competition starts before eating a single pancake and earning entry into the World Pancake Championship Invitational Nagito. Good luck. You'll need it. Goodness gracious, Arthur decides not to go to the feast, but Mona does, and she set off an explosive taking out Yosuke, Yasuke, and Takemi. Tinko and Reiko decide to work together to get more supplies, and Seiko falls into a frozen lake. Just like that, we are down to one, two, three, four, five. Five, it's your final five. It could end when I proceed. And it does not, it does it, does it? No, it does not. But Mona attempts a cool skateboarding trick, ends up with her gut splatter on the pavement. Asnir named one of his many children after Nagito. They're still all over the place, you guys. Like, if I reach right here, I'll probably, yep. They're everywhere. They really are. If I reach over here on my desk, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> Arthur plays patty cake with Tinko. Raker receives a fresh fruit from Mysterious Man, wrestles a wizard. We are down to now just four. It is Nagito, it is Arthur, it is Tinko, and it is Reiko, and it is Ten Fallen Tributes. Just like that, we skip Samurai Woman, which is sad. So sad, it's almost a Clear Day Loon. And it is a Clear Day Loon, in fact, for... Toma, Mona, Mew, On. Vike, Yosuke, Yasuke, Takemi, Seiko, Mona. Well, it's your final four. And I, I, two stole for Flames of Rebellion, which is kind of interesting. One for Justice for all the man of justice himself, Arthur. Mr. Justice. I guess George is also Mr. Justice. Justice Hammer 1 is... I don't know if we can really claim that you're truly just, but you know, it is what it is. And Tinko trying to carry on for the lovers. Ophelia and Haru. That's your final four, but I need to ask you more legitimately, who do you got? Because it's time for you to make your new picks if you need them. I'm going to need my new picks because Mona was like, <laughs> ah, this is too close to the end. Uh, I'll be leaving now. <laughs> Does a cool skateboarding trick and it was a poor fortune indeed, but your final four. It's time to make some new picks. Some, um... Saving Grace Picks. We got Arthur. Old Artie Boy, purveyor of justice. Did somebody say justice? Mister, did somebody say justice? Arthur is here today to try and prove that this is all about justice. It's gonna be the Justice Games after this one. Anti-Lover's Court. For Norfield. Tenko also reminisces about violence bringing her closer to someone she cares deeply about, Himiko. Did some Neo Aikido flip her around and she just understands, she understands Himiko so much better now. Through a little violence, you can find a lot of love. 
And that's what Tenko's here to prove. And then Flames of Rebellion, Nagito, and Renko. The both of them. The both of them. Do not count them out. Their first time working together as a team, and yeah, you know what? They're doing pretty good, even though Nagito took out one of his teammates, but that's a big brain play, because that guarantees his team the victory. Oh, it sure does. In terms of the people who are already in the finale between these four, I don't think it's anybody. I had to double check on Tenko, but I, yeah, it's not Tenko. It's anybody's game, so any of these final four could go on. Who's it gonna be? I don't know, but I think it's time we find out. Between Arthur, Tinko, Nagito, Reiko, make your picks first, second, third in the comments. You've already made them. What am I talking about? I'm gonna make mine real quick. Give me Nagito for first, give me Justice for second, and then give me Tinko for third. Reiko, I'm gonna leave you out of this one. Cause you did try and take- well, you know what? You took out Saika. I switch it all around. Reiko for first, Arthur for second, Tinko for third. That's what I got. Not a prediction. It's the truth. And I'm gonna prove it to you right now because these four, Arthur, Tinko, Nagito, and Reiko are all caught in the final four. Within that final five, something we usually call a little, uh, a little crisis of fate. Are you ready? Let's do it. Arthur, Tinko, Nagito, Reiko will proceed and we will see Reiko submits an application to join the squad? I'll think about it. Although you did try and overthrow me twice, so I'll think a little bit harder, but you did kill Sayaka this game, so... I'll think about that. Think about that. You, you submitted a- you did it on a good episode. You killed Sayaka and then you submitted- okay, I'll think about it. Tinko catches Nagito with a giant box of comically placed banana peels and Arthur dies from thirst, which leaves us to Reiko, Nagito, and Tinko. And Reiko. Her phone rings. There's no caller ID. When she picks it up, hello? It's Nagito on the other line! Nagito! Insults her. Relentlessly. And Tinko receives a first aid kit from the comment section? Y'all are still supporting Tinko out here! We only lost one. A man of justice! And justice delivered a swift and terrible turnabout for. Arthur. Did somebody say justice? You hate to see it, he was so close, but hey, he'll probably be back for this season. I'll, I'll tell you what, he, this might not, it might, this also really might be the team that he's on, but he's gonna find his way onto his team, and that team is going to be about justice, because the, that's, <laughs> that's my guy. <laughs> that's my guy. We are down, Tinko, Nayito, Reiko. It is looking great for Flames of Rebellion. One of them will definitely be going on to that season 11 premiere. I'm sorry, that season 12 premiere. For the champion of champions title with that being said we uh we still got a little something to go could still be tinko though will it be tinko i'm not sure but it's still a crisis of fate tinko nagito reiko two of them will have gold a golden opportunity rather the other one it's a shame who will that one be though that one is none of them yet, as Tinko has no weaknesses, so she's gonna win, right? Reiko's reflection in the mirror distorts over her true self. She pleads with what she sees, and Nagito finds a dark Dave in the arena, but friends it as we proceed again. Reiko severely injures her partner. Oh my gosh, they've they've only taken out each other. <laughs> Flames of Rebellion has only taken out each other, leaves them there to die, and Tinko is the best there is, was, or gosh darn it ever will be. It's Tinko, it's Reiko, and it is a terrible turnabout for Nagito. This is this is this has become so entertaining. <laughs> Just watching Flames of Rebellion. I thought it was a fun to I um I read it. I think uh this was in the this one was in the Discord. This one was in the Discord. It was such a fun team idea. I was like, oh that's kinda neat. But the <laughs> The way they've been playing this episode has just been so entertaining. They've literally taken each other out. But as as it's been proven, taking out your partner gets you a win. It's a valid strategy. And all they've done is taken out their partners. And so, 
I have to ask you between Tinko, who hasn't taken out anybody, and Reiko, who's taken out Nagito, to Nagito taking out On, I have to ask you between all of these people, just who will it be? Tinko, Reiko, Reiko, former agent of chaos, with Rock On, actually. Yeah, yeah, Buki, Shinyan, Reiko. Rock on, former Agents of Chaos. Tag Team Agents of Chaos. She wants a title shot, and she wants it today. Well, I mean, she's gonna actually get it, because she's in the top two. Tinko and Reiko, they're, they're going on that list. Good on them. Tinko, she held Tag Team Gold this season. She did. She did. She sure did, but now she wants that singles title as well. Can she do it? I think it's a possibility. But right now, these two are really fighting for momentum. And who will carry that momentum to the Season 12 premiere? Will it be Tinka, Reiko, Reiko, Tinka? It is your final two. And I think it's time to find out just who's coming out on top. The anti-lovers quarrel. The flames of rebellion will find out right here, right now with a single proceed between Tinko and Reiko, we see that to build each other's trust, Tinko and Reiko decide to do trust falls. But on the very first instance of the exercise, Tinko steps aside and lets Reiko fall off of a cliff. And just like that, Reiko was just a little too trusting. Little too trusting. They thought that they could have a girls' night themselves, themselves, but it just didn't happen. Reiko's fallen, and one woman stands tall. She's been a little bit of a power player as of late. And today she's your winner. Standing tall with Norphelia. Tinko won Tag Team Gold in Season 11. And this season, she's looking to become your new champion of champions, and momentum is on her side with the help of the anti-lovers quarrel. Tinko takes the win. You love to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all she wrote. Tinko Anti's, uh, anti-lovers quarrel. They took that big victory. Tinko and Reiko now go on to that tag, I'm sorry, that season 12 premiere. There were a bunch of just other teams as well. There were a bunch of other teams. Katoko and Katoka were suggested as a tag team. I don't know if they'll be competing. They might compete in tag team action. Don't know for sure. I won't announce anything yet. I won't announce anything yet. Won't say it. Won't say a thing. Won't say a thing. But you might see them. You might see them on the. Uh, it's not the road to the fight before Christmas. I don't know what it is yet. I've been doing some plotting. I've been doing some planning. I'm also probably gonna do some like just some 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 character creation streaming since we have so long into the world. Uh, the road to um until the fight before Christmas. It's not the road there, but I guess it is kind of the road there. It might still be. It's an icy road. We'll, we'll see what happens there. But that's the future. That's the future. You also still might see them in tag team action. Who knows? I haven't decided yet. We got Tinko, we got Reiko, and we got Nagito. Arthur and Mona were fifth. I'm four, I'm sorry. Fourth and fifth. Seiko, sixth place. Takemi, seventh in her first game. Good on you. Yasuke, eighth. Yosuke, ninth. Back to back for uh, Suke It Up. The Skase. <laughs> the Skase. Uh, yeah, Vike was tenth. Good job. And let me tell you, that one round that had Bob, Saika, and Skarmouche out, that, that did my heart some good. Did my heart some good. I also realized you can't see this <laughs> this picture that I literally just took. It was like, <laughs> I really like this picture. I like that camera a lot. That's the first picture I took. That's why I was so, I, it's legit the first picture that, uh, that I've uh, taken on that camera. Which is why um, <clears throat> uh, the, the flash legit surprised me. It was very bright. But it turned out for such a good picture. <laughs> it's so good. But. 
Man, I, I, I'm gonna take a lot more pictures of that thing. That's good. Big fan, big fan. We'll keep scrolling down, though. Keep scrolling down. So, Jira in last place. Yeah, to see it. I don't think this is his first game either. It's not his first game. He's competed in, uh, competed in preseason before. I don't think he's ever... He might have competed in an actual season? I don't, I don't know if he has. He might have. I think he might have. I think he might have. However, that's all she wrote for this one from start to finish. Tinko and Reiko are moving on to that match. As well as Noir, Edelgard, Kizzy, and Kawakami from preseason so far. We got two more to add tomorrow. We'll see who comes out on top. Kai started this off with that poisonous dart and it all ended with a trust fall gone wrong. Tinko steps aside and Reiko takes a big tumble as if she were falling from the top of a cell. Anti-Lover's Quarrel takes the win. Mona, Nagito, and Chi-Chi, and Vike all had three KOs on. Mew, Reiko with two, everyone else with one or less. We will go back to the reaping. Anti-Lover's Quarrel. Norphelia has been doing very good in preseason. They really have. Neither of them won this time, nor won her time. Haru won her time, but like... This time as a team, Tinko won. So you know what? They're doing great. They're doing fantastic. Good on them. Uh, but tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we'll see the gimmick. Tomorrow we'll do the gimmick. Tomorrow I'll, I'll reveal the gimmick. And that's going to be the uh, the main focal point of tomorrow. Uh, and then next week we have Agents of Chaos action in singles. Tag team. Uh, singles tag team on that Thursday and Friday. And then that Sunday it's a double header. Uh, tag team for the OCs and singles for the uh, singles for the OCs. I'm trying to remember how I went about it last season. I, I think I put everyone. I don't know if it was everyone who didn't make the premiere. I think it might be everyone who didn't make the premiere goes onto that episode. I'm pretty certain that's what it is. I think that's what we go for. Uh, it's not just like the bottom few. It's because we have a good chunk because it's split into two. It's neither of them are too long of an episode. However, I'm excited for it nonetheless. Thursday, Friday, Sunday. It shall be absolutely glorious. Until then, stay classy. Year of the Zenith. Toon Link, Dave, Anomaly, the Anomala Cars. This beautiful picture of me and Asmir. Anomaly is also in that picture, which is kind of funny. Toodaloo, Flight Crew. Thanks for watching.